in this section we're going to talk about linear inequalities real number system let's say you have two numbers x y for example 5 and 4 or any two numbers you can always compare them to compare these two numbers, you can use this symbol either x is greater than y or x is less than y or x is equal to y sometime because of the situation they might be you know more than one they might have more than one values so sometime we might use greater or equal less or equal sign as well so these are the sign we're going to use greater than sign less than sign equal sign greater or equal less or equal so this greater or equal means the number on the left side might be greater or equal to the number on the right side for example if you have x is greater or equal y that means this number the x might be equal to y or might be greater than y so let's say x is less or equal y that means the x might be less than y or equal y so it covers more cases than this symbol so we are going to use these uh, you know notations these symbols um, and solve linear inequalities whenever we see these symbols greater than less than greater or equal or less or equal sign that's called inequalities linear means the variable we are going to use have exponent 1 only okay so that's that's called linear inequalities especially there are four objectives we are going to achieve in this section we solve linear inequalities in one variable uh, we solve three part linear inequalities in one variable and then we solve compound inequalities in one variable compound means you know you have two different inequalities combined by word or or and finally we are going to you know solve um, an application problem so let's say this is the problem we want to solve let's say this is the linear inequality we solve i'm going to give you this you know summary of properties of linear inequalities but for now let's try to solve it like we are solving linear equation so to solve this like a linear equation we can just add three both sides and by doing that on the left side it will be 2x and on the right side it will be 8 just divide both sides by 2 if I do that then x would be less or equal to 4 so the solution for this inequality is all those number x which might be equal to 4 or less than 4 so the solution might be anything which might be equal to 4 or less than 4 okay so it should be anything less than 4 and it might be 4 so to express this answer there are three different ways three methods used to describe solution to an inequality the first one is called you know graphing method you can graph this solution the second one is called set builder notation and third one is called interval notation graphing means we draw number line and we graph this finding so on the number line there is a zero there is a one there is a two thing like this and our solution here we found is all the numbers starting from 4 to the left side so this is 4 and anything including this 4 to the left side is the solution so that is our solution that is the graph for x is less or equal 4 okay set builder notation means we always use these brushes and we say the solution is all x this symbol this symbol read as such that and after that we introduce the meaning of x what is x we are using here the solution using the set builder notation is we have to use this you know brushes and we say the solution is all those x such that x should be less or equal for that's how we write set builder notation and uh, using the interval notation we use the parenthesis or bracket sign so as you can see that this is the solution it is start on extremely left there is no end on the left so whenever there is no end we use infinity sign so in this case it's going towards the negative direction 
so the solution is anything from the left side and goes up to 4 and then if there is equality sign you use bracket if there is no equality sign only inequality sign then you use parenthesis so this is how you write in interval notation means the solution for this problem is anything less than 4 including 4 okay so that's how you write this is the graph for that particular problem this one this is the set builder notation and this one is uh, interval notation so uh, now <clears throat> formally we can define linear inequality in this way a linear inequality in one variable is an inequality that can be written in the form ax plus b is less than c where a b and c are some constant some real number and x is the variable make sure that a is not zero because if a is zero then you don't have anything to find the inequality symbol less than in the definition and the following property can be replaced with the greater than sign as well or lesser equal sign or greater or equal sign so linear inequality means if either you have sign less than or greater than or lesser equal or greater or equal there are some properties of uh, you know linear inequality so let's say a b and c are three real number uh, a b and c are three real numbers the property is if a is less than b if you add c to the both side then still that sum would be a plus c would be less than b plus c this is the example if a is less than b then we can subtract the same value from both side and still the inequality would be same this is the example if c is positive number and if a is less than b then we can multiply both side by that positive number without changing the sign but if we multiply both sides by some negative number or divide both sides by some negative number then this sign will change okay so as long as you are adding or subtracting or multiplying or dividing by positive number you are fine you can do that on inequality inequality holds that will be the same but if we if you multiply or divide by some negative number in the inequality both sides then the equality sign just switches so um, yeah, this is the division. Let's try to solve this this one. Three x plus eight is greater than nine, and then our solution we need to show is in set builder notation. To solve this kind of inequality, always treat them as a you know um, the linear equation. The way you solve the linear equation, you can solve the linear inequality. The only difference is if you multiply or divide both sides by some negative number, then you have to switch the sign. But if you subtract, same thing, you don't have to do, you know, you don't have to worry about the sign. You can just copy the sign and you do the math on the left side and right side. Subtract 8, that means this 8 and this 8 cancel out. On the left side, there is a 3x. The right side, 9 minus 8 is 1. If you divide both sides by 3, then x would be greater than 1. So this is the solution. Now we need to write down this solution in state builder notation. So you have to use this brushes. Solution is all x such that x is greater than one third. That's the set builder notation. Sometimes we have to solve inequality like that where we have fraction. So first of all, our first job should be to you know remove this fraction. To remove this fraction, what we can do is we can find out a LCD list common denominator so if you focus on the denominator here there are three different number 7 8 and 14 7 find out the factor of 7 find out this factor of 8 find out the factor of 14 7 is a prime number so 7 itself is a factor 8 is 2 times 2 times 2 14 is 2 times 7 for finding the lcd meaning you take all the common thing like 7 and 7 is common so you just take it here times this is two of them are common 2 and 2 then after that leftover thing which is 2 times 2 so whenever you have something common you just take them as one time only like 7 and 7 are common so you don't repeat 7 so this number would be your lcd 7 times 2 times 2 times 2 which is 56 so now we are going to multiply both sides by 56 
basically we are multiplying by 7 times 2 times 2 times 2 so if i multiply both sides by lcd multiply multiply both sides by lcd so if i multiply by 56 for the first term it would be 6x over 7 second one would be 56 times 1 8 since we are multiplying by positive number we can still keep this inequality sign 56 times 11x over 14 minus 56 times 8 over 7 so i can just cancel 7 times 8 is 56 8 times 7 is 56 14 times um what is that uh, 7 times 2 is 14 14 times 4 is 56 7 times 8 is 56 now after this cancellation as you can see that the first term becomes 8 times 6 48x second one becomes 7 on the right side it's a 4 times 11 which is 44x minus 64 solve this inequality just subtract 44x from both sides and add 7 so remember we are trying to bring all the axis on the left side and all the constant on the right side so that's why we have to subtract you know the x term from the right side and then um, you know we have to uh, you know add 7 uh, here both sides 48 minus 44 is 4x lesser equal this goes 0 64 plus 7 is a negative negative 64 positive 7 is what is that 57 so now 4x is lesser equal negative 57 now we just have to multiply uh, divide both sides by 4 because we are dividing by positive number still we can you know take the same inequality x is lesser equal to negative 57 over 4 so that is our answer but we need to express this answer as a set builder notation so we can write it down like this answer is all x such that x that x should be lesser equal to negative 57 over 4. okay so that is how we write so this is um you know uh, also linear inequality but we have you know three different uh, terms so that's one of the objective here solving three part inequality so we are going to do the same thing exactly the way we solved before but now instead of just using two parts left and right there are three parts so if you are subtracting then you have to subtract from all of them if you are adding then you have to add to all of them all three terms and if you are multiplying or dividing you have to do the same thing so the idea is you have to isolate x in the middle first of all to isolate x in the middle just subtract 8 but this time we have to subtract from all three sides by doing that it gives us negative 6 on the left side the middle side it would be just 6x on the right side it would be 12 because 20 minus 8 is 12 now we have to isolate x in the middle so we have to just divide both all three sides by 6 because we are dividing by positive number then still we can keep this inequality sign as it is negative 6 by 6 is negative 1 lesser equal 2 so the answer for this question is anything starting from negative 1 to positive 2 including negative n and positive 2. so if you have to write down this answer interval notation so you start with the bracket sign at negative 1 comma the end point is positive 2 with the bracket sign remember there is an equality sign you use the bracket sign if there is no equality sign then you just use the parenthesis and this means the solution for this problem is any real number in between negative 1 to positive 2 remember if you look at the real number line negative 1 0 positive 1 positive 2 there are infinite number in between negative 1 to positive 2 this is how you write interval equation okay okay so this is called compound inequality because as you can see that there is a linear inequality on the left side and there is another linear inequality and they are combined by and so basically what happens is we solve this linear inequality individually and to find the final answer if there is a word and and means we find the union of the solution we find individually so union if there is a 
word R, then we find the intersection. Intersection of the solution. Union and intersection. So that depends on what we have given N and R. Union of the solution of the first one and the second one. Okay, I uh, my bad, my bad. It's it should be opposite, okay? If there is R, then that means union. If there is and that means intersection. So the solution should be true for both of them. So and means intersection, or means union. Okay. So here we have given and we find the solution of the first part, find the solution of the second part. We take the intersection of both of them to find the final solution. Okay. So let's try to solve this left side. So 2x minus 2 is uh, less or equal to 2. So add 2 both sides. By doing that, 2x is less or equal to 4. Divide both sides by 2. x is less or equal to 2. That's the solution for the left side. Solution for the right side is 3x plus 3 is greater than 6. So first of all, subtract 3. So if we subtract 3 from both sides, it will give us 3x is greater or equal to 3. Then after that, divide by 3. So x is greater than so because there is an and we need to find out intersection of these two first one is x should be less or equal to so let's draw a number line x is less or equal to so i'm going to use two different color for the two different solution and let's see you know where we see the intersection let's say i'm going to start with the rate x is less or equal to two there is a zero there is a one there is a two three negative one negative 2 x is less or equal to 2 starting from here less so we are going to the left so anything to the left that's for the first part and now let me just use a black color here x is greater than 1 so 1 is here greater than only so not including 1 so we have to use the open circle from here we start we go to the right side so intersection means wherever you see the red color and then black color both so in this case, the red, the black color is starting slightly after one, and then red color stops at two. So the intersection, the solution, solution is one comma two, but including two and not including one. So that is our solution. Solution for this compound inequality is anything, any value of x after one and before two, including two. So intersection means both color. So remember, this is a trick. R means you need to find out the individual solution and find the union. N means you have to find out the individual solution and find the intersection. Now, next problem there is R. So R means remember it's a union. So we find the solution for the first one. For finding the solution, let's subtract one. So two x is greater than eight. Divide both sides by two. X is greater than four. That's the first part of the solution. For the second one, subtract 5 from both sides. So that will be 3x is less than 6. Now you have to divide by negative number. So whenever we divide by negative number, remember this sign will change. Switch. Divide or multiply by the negative always switches the sign of inequality. So x is greater than negative 2. These are the two solutions. x is greater than 4. x is greater than negative 2. We need to find the union of these two. So let's say this is the number line. I'm going to use a uh, rate for the first one. X is greater than 4. So here is 4. Greater means not including 4, but anything after that. And uh, X is greater than negative 2. Negative 2 is somewhere here. Let's say this is 0, 1, 1, 2, 3. Okay. X is greater than 2, negative 2. Anything greater than negative 2? So now union means wherever you see blue and then red, that will be your answer. So you can see that blue starts at negative 2, not including negative 2, and goes up to infinity. So, uh, you know, the answer would be negative 2 comma infinity. Whenever you see the word R, that means union. So this is a, a word problem where we might have to use uh, inequality, a uh, linear inequality. On the last three chemistry exams, a student scored 85, 86, and 92. 
what score must the student earn on the next exam to have an average of at least 90 so first of all we have to understand uh, okay so uh, let's get back here there are four exams uh, you know three exams score we already know and we would like to find out the student score for the fourth exam such that the average score should be greater than or equal to 90 so at least 90 so let's say x is the you know score in the fourth uh, fourth exam score in the fourth exam exam now average of this four exam average you know that average we are looking for is greater or equal to 90 at least 90 means it can be 90 but it cannot be less than 90 so it can be 90 but or greater than 90 so average should be greater or equal to 90 so we know that first three exam has this score 85 86 92 and then the fourth one we're looking for is x we don't know the value of x so let's find out the average of four these four exams so whenever you try to find out the average you just add them all and divide by number of items so in this case there are four exams x plus 85 plus 86 plus 92 divided by 4 that's the average average means sum of all the items divided by number of items so if you just simplify this it would be x plus uh, 85 plus 86 plus 92 so let's add this three number so uh, that's 263 that's 263 divided by four. so this average would be x plus 263 divided by 4 should be greater than 90 so we want to solve for x for that first of all we can just multiply both sides by 4 so that is x plus 263 is greater than this is 90 times 4 is 360 now just subtract 263 and that is x should be greater or equal to uh, 7 and what is that it's a uh, 9 be 97 so the fourth exam uh, you know if uh, the strain has a score greater or equal to 97 in the fourth exam then average score should be at least 90 90 so that's how that's how we find at least at least the student it's 97 in the fourth exam the fourth exam to make average at least 90 90 okay so that's the you know application problem for this uh, section